rolling through our videos, I talked a lot about the two-year-olds in the opening. Travis and I both did. Talked about the list of horses that I thought uh, were worth noticing. And just as I look on this list, there's some horses that I didn't mention that absolutely belonged on my my list. A Mordiner, right at the top of it, is one of them. Um, almost there, boss. Has been great and has looked great. Very, very happy. Uh, very, very happy that this horse has come along nicely and looks the way he is. It's a horse we had a lot of hopes on and then kind of left him in limbo throughout February and March. Is he good? Is he not good? How's he doing? Let's let his hobbles out, change his gear, castrate him, did all this. How is he now? Uh, by all accounts, he's coming on very, very strongly and looking good in Ontario. Very impressed and pleased with what I'm hearing out of Ontario for almost there, boss. Amor Diener has looked great for quite some time and continues to look good. He's been in 2-4 now, heading into the Pennsylvania Sire Stakes season. Arches Rainbow continues to look very, very good in Ontario. I'm very happy. You know, I hear myself saying these. I'm like, am I being too optimistic? I'll tell you the truth. There's lots of horses on here that are just, hey, they got to do more. They, they can, they likely will when they see the gate or they get more work into them or a number of reasons. But the ones right now I want to talk about in, in, a, in a very optimistic way, because I am optimistic, Arches Rainbow looks very, very good and I'm very happy with her. Better be Sawyer, another filly that's done everything right. My only question with her, can she pace in 53? Can she do that? I don't know. She's going to be the one that's going to tell us that. Blue Bayou Dio. Here's a horse that, well, I don't know, she's making a lot of breaks. She's over on the shaft. She needs the hobbles tight. Can this filly come forward and do things in a good way? And then I hear it of Ontario two weeks ago. Listen, man, I'd like it if Better Be Sawyer, st or if uh, Blue Bayou Dio stayed in Ontario because she looks really good. And then I hear from Johnny the other day, you know, a week later, I, I don't know if anybody can trot with this filly for the length of the stretch at Mohawk. I haven't seen it, and I'm excited to see it when I do, but... I'm very happy to hear what I'm hearing out of Ontario about um, about Blue Bayou Deal. Uh, Bomb Hugger, not surprising there. She's great filly. She's been great for quite a while. Uh, the only question mark and puzzle with her is why she get on that right line. We're going to continue to work on that. All things point to maybe just her feet being a little soft right now with the flip-flops being on for such a long time. We're going to take those flip-flops off this week, work on her feet, and see if that is the culprit. It very likely could be. Uh, Century Invictus. Haven't talked much about him because he needs to do more, but he's a better's delight. I'm assuming when he sees the gate, the better's delight in him is going to come out. I suspect it will. We're going to see soon enough. Uh, Confederate Cruiser continues to train down good and look good. How good? I don't know. We're going to find out. 2-6 so far pretty easily. Um, you know, but again, our expectations are tempered with this guy. I'd love to see him be a state colt. I'd love to see him be a Buckeye colt. If, he not, if he's not, going to be a nice little fair colt, and he's going to do some good for us in Ohio. But anything is possible. Uh, anything is possible with um, Confederate Cruiser. Duke Dio, he needs to do more, right? This is a horse that was on a right line, making breaks. We gave him time because of his knees. We swam him. We brought him back. I see they tried to train him without hobbles the other day, I believe. That's not going to work. So uh, we're going to bring Harlan L. and Duke Dio immediately to Northfield Park. But I expect they're in a position where once we get them strung up, properly once we have all the gear on them the way we want it two one two two shouldn't be hard within the coming weeks i think maybe for duke dio he missed a little time he's been in 220 i think that might be a little much but you know where i'm going with this lsl has been very very good since he got to ohio and looked great again this week eyes of 10 continues to look good very happy with her garden state dio i guess for the truth be told an odd break from what the last eight weeks have shown. The other day at Mohawk, Johnny thought maybe her hobbles were a little long. Another filly. Are the flip-flops going to make it hard for her to accelerate in the straightaways in a big, long straightaway? It's possible. We'll see over the next couple of weeks how she is. I think I'll have a better idea when James gets home and goes to qualify or a schooler. Then we can say, okay, I think she needs this or she needs that. Grace, happily surprised with Grace. Uh, hearing great things coming out of Ontario for this filly. This is a full sister to uh, Darling Please that we had last year. Happy with her. Can't wait to see how she's going to start. Uh, how she's going to start her career off. Granite Hill. I told you guys June. It's almost June. He's getting there. He's been in two ten, two eleven, something like that. Uh, made a break the other day. Ripped a shoe off. It's weird. He doesn't have that much protection up front, but all he does with when he rips a shoe off is pace. It's it's very odd. Um, I saw. I guess. Uh, one My Heart Hanover ripped a shoe off and paced three, four weeks ago. 
But truthfully speaking, she has padding on her front end. So you could say, ah, oh, when she went from padding to no padding, yeah, I could see how she would be a little uh, irritated in the mile. But this guy just wears a shoe turned around backwards. I'm very surprised that it, it came to this, but it did. Harlan L, as I said, him and Duke Dio are coming over here immediately. I expect better things from Harlan L. We'll see how he is over the next couple of weeks. Uh, Harvard Yard continues to be closer, inching closer to being ready in uh, in the Meadows. Kathy with an eye, she's done for the year. Uh, had that bad bout of pneumonia. Uh, we were worried we were going to lose her, quite frankly, for a little bit. She bounced back and she's healthier now. I would say within the next two weeks, she's probably going to go to Ohio, but it's going to be to be turned out at Winterwood Farm and let her relax for the summer. Uh, Luck of the Dragon on the right line a bit the other day, but had a little bit of a rash in his armpits. Just got to get him over that, and then we'll see how the how Luck of the Dragon's supposed to look. If his armpits look good, if that rash is subsided by Wednesday, might look for a faster mile out of him. Even if we had to wait another day and take him out Thursday after the qualifiers, that's a possibility also. Um, what else do we got here? Mischievous Rose continues to trend. Uh, I jumped over a bunch of horses. Massive Profit has looked very, very good here in Indiana, or in Ohio. 2-4, last half, 58 in a piece. First over, 59, something like that, but looked very good. Training Wednesday, come back with another good qualifier on Saturday. Matt's MVP looked better. Have to put some razor pads on his front end and work on his liver. His liver jumped up, so we'll see how he is on Wednesday. Miss Mildred, Johnny, couldn't be more excited about her. She did touch her knee the other day, but that's not surprising. Uh, we've had now three Sunshine Beaches that trained down without knee boots that needed them when they got to racing speed. Not really the end of the world there. Um, Mischievous Rose has looked very, very good. Continues to be one of our top contenders in Ontario. Of Tom, continues to train well down here. Is, is this a filly that is going to be a top sire stake filly? I don't know yet. We'll see, but she's going to be fun to race. Wherever we race her, it'll be where she can do. One, two, skip a few has trained very strongly. Skipped over Shadow the other day, but... Uh, has been in 2.5 and has looked very, very good doing it. Um, peanut Butter and Jelly trained well the other day on the front end, I'm told. 2.5, 2.6. She's a good 10 seconds from us uh, talking in a very serious manner about her. But she's got more than enough time to get there. Prairie Fire has trained well. Uh, made a break coming out of the gate the other day. His hobbles were a little long. Um, he was much better on Saturday for Travis. Procrastinator absolutely 100% the biggest turnaround story of the year. This horse went from an an afterthought, unfortunately an afterthought from day one, was sick throughout December, um, was sick throughout December, and um, really always had reasons, just couldn't put it all together, but man, he put it together the last six weeks. He has been lights out good the last little while. Very, very impressed with him. Purple Aura, Another horse training well here, been in 2-5, 2-6, and has done it right. Renegade Gypsy, 2-3 the other day at Mohawk, training with World for two. Mario said he was unbelievably good. We have done his knees, uh, did some work on Mario's barn the other day, but really impressed with Renegade Gypsy thus far. Resolute Bay, Johnny's been happy with him. 2-5 uh, with him, very, very impressed with uh, the way this horse has come along. Just every week, uh, the, the odd week, he, you know, he made breaks through with the winner, but better, 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 better over the last eight weeks. I'm very happy with him. Rose above it. He's looked great. This is what I wanted to see this colt do is start to mentally mature and understand his work. I, I thought that he would need to get in with a faster mile to understand everything, and he has. Did his work well again in a slower mile on Saturday, but first over in the grind on Wednesday. Very strong, very strong training mile for him. Him. Rosie's masterpiece, 2526. Mario did some work on her. Said, you know, uh, she was a little clappy the other day. I said, yeah, I'll be there next week and go there. All right, I, hold on. Don't hold me to that. I plan on being in Ontario at some point to go with uh, Rosie's masterpiece to see what, what's up. Uh, I was happy that Mario brought it up and said, hey, you know, we might need to make some tinkering with her. She's trained well. She's been in 2 5, but I expect more from this filly. You know, maybe if you're around, we'll get a look at her. I'll do that next week, hopefully. Slim Jimmy will be coming over here soon. He's been training grade 2 4 for Mario in Ontario. Spent, uh, spent one a mile on 2 5 to 2 4 the other day. Was very, no, 2 4. I just picked him off with Rose above it. 2 4 the other day and was good. And Travis went with him on Saturday. He said, I really, really like this horse. Stonebridge Dolce, not quite to the procrastinator level of, of seismic change in their ability 
or, or thereabouts, their perceived ability or how they're doing their work. But nevertheless, 2 9, 2 10 for Philly that really struggled at the start. Very happy with her. Stonebird Chicati, 2 6, Mary said, of, of my barn, Shedro 5. Biggest change I've seen has been in Stonebird Chicati. He's getting better and better and better and better. Sweet on Pete looked good two weeks ago, made a break on Wednesday. I was happy with, uh, I was happy. <laughs> Addie opened the door. Uh, I was happy with, um, yes, honey. Do you want to come in? Come on. Come on in. Come on in, turkey. You sit up here with that app. I got you. Oh. Say hi, look. Say hi. 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 We're talking about the horsies. Do you like horsies? Yeah. Yeah, what do they say? Um, What's a horsey say? <laughs> oh. So, uh, where were we? We were talking about Sweet on Pete. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought Sweet on Pete trained good this week. Shh, 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 shh. Three point blue chip train good. Hey, what are you doing here? Don't be talking over me. I'll have to put some duct tape on your mouth like this. I did. I got it. Um, so three point blue chip. Jumped on his foot. Now here's an important thing. A lot of horses look for a way out and look to not do their work sometimes. Sometimes they'll hit themselves and make a break or just not be 100% make a break. Oh. I will tell you something about three point blue chip. This is a horse that jumped on his foot. Hey, hey, hey. Shh, shh, shh. I'm trying to talk about something. All right. This is a horse that jumped on his foot going behind the gate. Oh, chew. Jumped on his foot going behind the gate to the point where he literally drew blood and it was on my suit, on my glasses, in my hair. But I, I looked down and you could see it was on the side. It wasn't super bad, but it was bleeding quite a bit. I noticed it coming out of the gate. Obviously, I was covered in blood. And then... He went such a good mile after that, finished up strong, and won the training set. That takes tenacity, and I was so proud of what that horse did. He'll be fine in a day or so on that foot, but for him to go out and do his work as well as he did with the issue he had at that moment was impressive. So he got top marks from me. Achoo. Uh, Ty went on, continues to train good. She's ready to go. Tioga Sunshine. Jimmy, as I said in an earlier video, quoted as saying she was sneakily good this week. Very happy with her. Twin B Habanero will be in 15 or so, 12 maybe this week. He's been training really, really well. Twinkle in her eye. I want to see her behind the gate. I want to see this filly come behind the gate and see how she comes forward. Unbeatable Kemp, ready to go again. Looking for a mile around 2 4 out of him. Mommy? Mommy? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see mommy in a second. Uh, what? What about what's outside? Are those guckies? Yeah. And what's a gucky say? Bibi guck. Guck goes quack quack, no? Bibi. Bibi gucks. Bibi. Oh. Mommy. Mommy? mommy. Oh, mommy gucks too. Abba. Abba. Okay. You see this? So twinkle in her eye is right there. She's training good. Can't wait to see her on the gate. Unbeatable Kemp is ready to go right now. You Gotta Believe was fantastic this week and continues to be very, very, very good. I just picked him off. And actually, truthfully, I might not have picked him off with three-point blue chip. I think I did. Do you want back out? You gonna go in the house? Okay, say bye. Say bye. 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 Say see you. See you. <laughs> okay, go see mommy in the house. In the house. Ah, ah. In the house. In the house right now, please. House now. Adeline Hope. Amy. Amy! Come get Addy. Addy is uh, looking to shake loose today. We're looking to go to go get somewhere she can swim for a little bit. It's so hot here in Ohio. Now it's 80 in the shade. Where was I? You gotta believe. Uh, I picked him off, but I might not have picked him off with three point blue chip. Um, he trained very, very good this week. Again, Voyage of Ice and Fire was lights out. You know, and I would be super excited, only this is exactly how I expected this horse to progress into his racing season. Very, very happy with him. Uh, obviously, heartbroken over Will to win Hanover, but this is a filly that was mentally a little immature. You saw it in the breaks she made and the things she did. So, this time off. Uh, obviously we'll give her time to relax, let her joints relax, let that little line, that faint line heal up good, and then go back at it for um, 2022. So 
uh, might be a blessing in disguise. It doesn't really matter. We have to play the hand we're dealt and will to win Hanover has to be shut down, but we'll be back soon enough. Uh, World for two. Train great. 2-3 last half 59 this week. Super excited to see how this horse is going to come around for the 2021 season. I've been very happy with him from day one and continue to be super happy with him. Those are the two-year-olds. Pretty honest depiction of everybody in real time. The two-year-old sets. I'm going to be back in a second. Just got the three-year-olds left and that's it.